Well, now, joining me, uh, if you were a big fan of Big Brother and uh, the year when there was a bit of controversy and they changed the rules and they put on a very special edition featuring young people, was it Big Brother Hijack, John? Was yeah, Big right? Brother Celebrity Hijack. Oh, yeah. Celebrity Hijack. They elevated it to that level, so... Anyway, it gave you a bit of a break, I suppose, because you won it. <laughs> sure, absolutely. Very, very lucky to do so. And, and from that... It's opened up all sorts of opportunities for you. I know you're very big in politics in, in Scotland mm. and devolution and independence is very much on your mind there. Sure. But you've been to the Isle of Man, uh, I think it was last year, do, doing a lot of involvement with children at the schools, uh, um, the you know, careers exhibition. But you're back now again. What, what are you doing now? It's really building on, I think, the success we had last year working with the government here. I work a lot with young people and what's often called tomorrow's generation, but to really inspire them to believe in being today's generation, actually. Often society points a finger uh, as opposed to lending a hand to young people. And in partnership with the Job Centre, with the Economic Development Department, we've been looking at how we really give young people the confidence and skills on the Isle of Man to really be the architects of the future here, actually. And that's given them skills and confidence in and out of school to access the jobs they want, to engage in decision making, and, and to really make the most of their lives now. What have you found out about the Isle of Man? Are we better off, worse off, just completely normal? What, uh, but what is normal? <laughs> yeah. if, if, I, if I base my life on being normal, I've failed many, many years ago. But um, I, I love it here. I think it's fantastic. You know, I, I, I live in London now, but I'm from, I'm from a small village just north of Newcastle called Scotland, as you <laughs> alluded to. And I think there's lots of parallels. We're, we're all a wee bit weir than everyone else. And I think our size needs to become our, our, our asset and our benefit. And I think there's a community and a warmth here that's, that's fantastic. And on, a, on a very political level, you know, politicians and the people are very like, physically closer together, but also I think policy-wise we can be closer together to say, actually what, what's happening to young people, what's happening to jobs, what's happening to the economy, and what we think is going to happen, and how do we inspire a generation mm -hmm to be leaders of that generation uh, and leaders of that economy rather than being, being passengers in that journey. Because you, you, like. you, you probably know the, the Isle of Man, a few years ago we were so apparently wealthy, we didn't sure. know it, but you couldn't get people to work in any jobs in the Isle of Man. School sure. leavers were leaving and taking jobs in banks for sure. £16,000 just to open the mail. Yeah. And they could pick and choose what jobs. I mean, those days are over now. Is that, you know, people have to come to terms with the new world order? Yeah, I mean, I... I I'm 25. I know before I was a teenager, there was an, even then there was an attitude of you leave school, you get a job, you know, you get a mentor kind of in the courtyard or you know, the shipyard or whatever looks after you and you grow up and you have the one job and that's it. It's quite predictable. There's a good job, there's an element of choice and there's a generational passing on. The game's changed uh, and the Isle of Man's not immune from that and it probably has many unique challenges as well. You know, the financial relationship with the UK has changed. The, I sense industry has gone a lot more in hospitality and service based. How do young people fit into that massively changing atmosphere? There's a quote that change is the new permanent. Mm. And I think that's true for this generation. We are generation change. And it's easy to get negative or worried or a bit downtrodden in our attitudes. And I think the question is whether you support what's happening or not, how you react to it is the biggest test. Okay. Well, you're going to be coming back and we'll, we'll catch up with you when you do that. But Back to you personally, uh, do you see yourself being a future leader of Scotland, an independent Scotland? Uh, not an independent Scotland. I believe that you're asking me my view on independence here, aren't you? Cleverly, I see what you did. I'm quite open. I think, I believe in breaking down barriers and boundaries in the world, not putting more up. There's enough excuses to be different as human beings. Let's celebrate what makes us the same and unites us, not what is perceived to make us different. Give me a politician's answer. Do you want to be uh, the leader of an independent Scotland? No. Really? Not an independent Scotland. To keep within the union then? I don't believe you have to be a politician with given power and in, in charge of people to be a leader. That's the whole point. You know, a mother who's a single mother in a household is a leader. What I do today with young people when I'm speaking to them is leading. What you're doing around taking a public information service out to the people around their, their homes, you know, this evening or tomorrow is leading. Where will you be an MP then? Or an uh, SMP or whatever you want to call it? Uh, well, an MP is not, mm. not in the near future. But not you, in the near future. You got your eyes on it? Do you know, I, I'm going to be a poll. Never say never, but actually, do you know, I, want, I went out of formal politics because actually I wanted to be empowered and I set up my own organisation and I was willing to fail and I'd rather uh, fail trying than fail to try. And I guess that's where I'm at. And whether that leads to working for a charity, working for someone else, being an MP or whatever, 
um, why limit your options at this point?